Hey guys, today I am gonna talk about my disagreement with Alpha Investments philosophy. You know, um, here's my thing. I can probably make it very clear, like my neighbor. I had some new neighbors two years ago. They spent, or a year ago, they spent the first seven months building a pool, a very small pool. And it was the most inefficient because I had to live through the construction every single day. It was beyond ineffective. Um, there were a lot of uh, delays. They, they built a new door to the pool. They have parties all the time. And I was, uh, cause the yard is super close to mine cause they built the pool and it's a very small land. Uh, it's not supposed to have a pool in it because it's so small. Uh, two things. One, um, when the guy's watering, he has to come out and water his grass every morning and every evening, every night, because we live in Houston and he spent all the money on the pool that he didn't have enough money on the sprinkler system. So now he has to spend between, yes, and this is not, this is not me exaggerating, one to two hours a day watering his grass that is dying, right? Um, this is a poor utility of time, but this is how he thinks. He thinks that I need a pool instead of I need a sprinkler because even though the sprinkler could take save him time, he would rather have his pool. So if he had only X amount of money, which seems that he does because he's not installing a sprinkler, he will spend it on the pool uh, scenario. As my dogs are being bad, I can hear them in the background. Uh, this is very adverse to what I believe, you know, in business. I believe if there's something that you can invest your money in that will save you time and that will get you to be able to make more money, you invest in that first and that can make you money down the road. Uh, the second thing and the thing that I find most offensive by Alpha Investments comments about you can always live with your parents is not every parent wants to live with you. Okay. Um, you are basically putting the, and, and it's not, if your parents are friends, trust me, they're not going to be happy to have a 30, 35, 40 year old son or daughter live with them. Um, that's not, you know, they worked really hard all their life to get to probably retirement, to get to peace and relaxation. And, oh, my goofball of a son who's 40, not married and loves magic cards is now moving in with me again. You know, they always want more than you, you probably want for yourself because they're your parents and they're going to be like, wow, that's going to be a little bit upsetting. Again, if you have to move in when your parents are cultural, I get it. But if it's because you bought too many magic cards, that is really shameful in my opinion. If that is the reason that you had to move in with your parents because you spent too much money on magic card investment, big yikes, right? Uh, big yikes. So the other thing was like, I heard him talking to the bank again, his, he's he screams so loud and the dog is out i mean they from seven until probably midnight at night they're just screaming yelling partying every single day he's going to probably lose his home soon uh from the previous conversation i heard he was talking to a banking company on sunday and i don't know who how, <laughs> it, it's this if you want the bank to do something for you it's really hard to contact the bank especially on the weekend if the bank wants money from you, they will contact you on Sunday. So it's a different thing. You know, like I would say there are things that you should put your money into, like your home, like your education, like your business, like your retirement fund. With, God forbid you, instead of putting it in a matching retirement fund where your boss will match it dollar per dollar to a amount of money, you decide to buy magical. No, no, no. A CD, I mean, it's crazy. A CD is 5% interest right now. FDIC insured. People, when they put money into entertainment and enjoyment and they view it as investment, that's where pe things get sh shitty, right? If you put money in entertainment and you say, this is money is for entertainment. I you know, want to go out, I want to go to eat, I want to go to travel, I want to open some magic cards. Perfectly okay. But when you pitch it as an investment, that's where things get really, really ugly because people then rely on that, God forbid, as a retirement plan, but they rely on that when it comes time to sell. And when they wanna sell, guess what? Everyone else wants to sell too. And there ain't no buyers because everyone is a seller. And this is my moral, my, this is what I'm saying. Magic, if you put money into it, realize you're putting money into entertainment, okay?
point, point four. Doesn't matter if it's a buy list, doesn't matter if it's sealed box versus reserve list versus standard, it doesn't matter, it's an entertainment. That's how I currently look at it. And in fact, you know, in terms of storage, it's, it's a very negative. Uh, my girlfriend hates it and we had to move a shit ton of stuff this weekend um, to create her office space because she works remote and she's going to be moving in with me in September. So she's already planning where to put her furniture, where to build her office and yada yada. But I go back to my neighbor, right? Um, he's out there in the 100 degree weather sp sp um, spraying his grass. This is a guy who probably built a pool that may have cost him 10, 15, $20,000 over seven months. This is a guy who probably built a door who cost that much. And he can't afford his sprinklers because he ran out of money for building the pool. And now he has to do every day at 100 degree weather around noon, he's gotta spray his dead grass and hope that you know his grass doesn't catch on fire from fireworks. This is not a good utility of your money. This is, doesn't make any sense to me personally. Um, if you view the pool as entertainment, but you have another thing like sprinklers that you desperately need in Houston, Texas, like you cannot live without sprinklers in Houston, Texas. You cannot. I 100% I tell you, you cannot. Your grass will die, and when it dies, it gets really like flammable. And if all the fireworks, like, and it's not even oh July 4th, it's over. No, no, they, they have fireworks like every weekend almost. I live in a golf course and if there's anything to celebrate, any holiday, there will be fireworks, right? And your neighbor will launch fireworks and they launch fireworks, right? I mean, it's a very, very interesting thing how people spend their money, and especially me viewing the neighbors. I think that they have, uh, they won't be there very long according to uh, the previous phone call. Again, when the bank calls you on a Sunday, probably not a good thing. And instead of doing work or you know building a business, he's out there sprinkling his lawn. Twenty like he wakes up. It's the first thing he does when he wakes up is he, he. I don't know if he has a job or not. I assume he has a job working at home. He's he he puts out the sprinkler and does his lawn. He's basically ruining my fence as well, which I paid for. Um, it's pretty intriguing, but like I said, invest in things that can make you money. It's okay if magic is just for fun, but please do not treat it as an investment. Anyway, hi guys.